to tell you guys that. But I, sometimes I forget, so I just have. I said I'm just gonna pray before I'm eating. But it it also works out like if I forget to um, pray before I eat, I can always pray after I eat. To rest on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath. To prohibit labor on the seventh day. The court must not inflict punishment on the Sabbath. To afflict yourself on young on young Cooper, which is Cupper, which is the um day of atonement. I did that with my kids this past September. Which is not to eat. It is our um atonement. This is our day of atonement. That's when we all fast. So like the faith, the faith, the Muslims, they just went through their atonement when they had celebrated um their holy fast. Ours is called the Day of Atonement, which is Yom Kippur. To rest the first day of Passover, not to prohibit labor on the first day, the rest on the seventh day of Passover. Shabbat is, um, I believe they call that the Feast of Tabernacles. No, no that's the Sukkot. I think that's the Sukkot. I think the um the so the the Shabbat is the um feast of dedication. I mean, so yeah, we got our holy days. Um, the chauffeur is that thing over there that I showed y'all that we blew into. So it's not even um to to inflict and cry out before God in times of to of catastrophe. Not to have relations with women, not thus married. So that's a commandment. That's why I keep on telling y'all, like, I be trying to keep this commandment not to have sex with my, that's somebody that I'm not married to. Um, Not to withhold food, clothing, and sexual relationships from your wife. So, like, that's our husband's duty. Like, if I want to have my husband, he's not supposed to um reject me. To have children with one wife. To issue a divorce by means of get document. Um, to do your bum. To marry childless brother's widow. So a man can marry. In our truth, like just in, like for an example, if Jeremiah' wife, uh, if, if that's for an example, I'm not gonna use my kids. So for, okay, let's say Jeremiah get old, right, and his and he die, and his wife is still alive. Well, Hezekiah can marry his wife if he's not married um, to take care, to be as like a stand-in for him. Yeah, he can marry his wife in our in our truth. The widow must not remarry until, he, until the ties with her brother-in-law are removed. The rapist must marry the maiden if she chooses. So if a rapist rape a woman in our truth and she wants to marry him it was supposed to be permitted because back then when you had um if a woman got raped especially when she back then women wasn't really having sex without their husbands so if a man take on a woman that was probably saving herself for marriage most likely back then um and she wanted to marry her rapist just so she won't be found like touched already then they would have to permit it you should um audition for Tyler Perry Ruthless. I don't know what that show is. I can look it up. He must not divorce her. The slander mu must remain married to the wife he slandered. Not to put frankincense on her meal offering. Not to have sexual relationship with your mother. Not to have sexual relationship with your father's wife. Not to have sexual relationship with your sister. Not to have sexual relationship with your father's wife, daughter. Not to have sexual relationship with your son's daughter. Not to have sexual relationship with your daughter. Not to have sexual relationship with your daughter's daughter. Not to not to marry a woman with her daughter. And not to marry a woman and her daughter. So this is like because a lot of religions um are like these other nations, which are heathens, that's outside of being Jews. It's called bloodlines. So they're not either Gentile or Jews. So they are heathens because they 
a lot of people neglect this law, especially like Esau, because Romans, they was perverse back then and they still are. The Romans, um, they had sex with each other. They had sex with animals. They had sex. They had perversion. The orgy parties came from the Romans. I know y'all seen painting and pictures of women's naked back then serving the roman god serving the roman so we don't we don't do that we don't so that's why we got they had to well, moses he only had 10 laws and commandments remember he came down he only had 10 laws and commandments but really he had one which was love so he broke it down he had to break it down to what the what love is and remember because he broke it and he went back up to the temple and then he came back with sixteen thirteen. He came back with six hundred and thirteen laws and commandments because when he came down there, he found a servant. We had wound up building a, a a golden calf, and he like, what the hell? I just delivered you from Egypt. We don't do that. We don't serve them gods because we came from Egypt. We was, we was remember when Moses came was like, let my my people go. We did what they did. The same thing y'all doing now. When he said that we would go into slavery again, but this way by ships. We are serving the same people. Remember when he came back down with we serving golden calves? So he came up with these laws and commandments to teach us what is righteous. And when we went to slavery again by the white men, he put his Christmas and his Easter with the eggs and all of his pagan rituals on us. So we're not supposed to do that because that was put on them, us by our oppressors. And that's their, that's their culture. That's not our culture. So that's what I've been talking about. A man must have not have such a relationship with a beast because that's what these other nations do. They have sex with animals. We don't do that. A woman must not have such a relationship with a beast, not to have a homosexual sexual relationships, not to have homosexual relationship with your father, not to have the this 613 laws give you precise things to do that is holy, not to have homosexual relationship with your father's brother. And so on and so forth. Not to have sexual relationship with a, a, a menstrual and pure woman. So we're not supposed to have sex with our period. Not to have sexual relationship with a married woman. Not to marry non-Jews. Okay. Not to let Moabite and Ammonite males marry into the Jewish people. So that's like Chinese people. We're not supposed to marry like Chinese, Japanese people. Um, don't, don't keep a third generation Egyptian covenant from marrying into the jewish people so some parts of the egyptians which is the africans we can marry into um not to refrain from marrying a third generation of the edomite co convert so if an edomite i would never do it just not me i would never do it edomites is the white man so if the white man that's what the bible talked about in the book of matthew about he don't care if you Jew or Gentile that because because two thirds of Israel are going to be cut off, which is the Jews, because they didn't hearken the laws and commandments. But the Gentiles have a chance to be saved if they convert to these laws and commandments that I'm showing you now. And so if a, if a white man, which is Esau, is willing to keep my Passover and to denounce his Christmas and keep a Hanukkah and keep the Passover and keep all these laws and commandments, I can technically marry him because he have what? converted into our truth but me i ain't shit um not to let a mazar which is a bastard married into a jewish people um not to let a e nuke marry into the jewish people um <clears throat> the high priest must marry a virgin so it says not to make pleasurable sexual contact with any forbidding woman to examine the signs of locusts to discriminate between culture and non-culture so culture is me eating only um i have a dietary law so not to eat non-culture animals that's our levitical law this is it right here not to eat non-culture Foul, not to eat non-kosher fish. My non-kosher fish is any fish that without skins or fails, I cannot eat. So, for an example, if it has skins and fail, skins, scales and fins, I can eat it. But if it has fins with no scales, I can't eat it. For an example, an eel, it don't have no fins, so I can't eat it. It's slimy. It don't have no scales. So, I can't eat that. Catfish is slimy. 
they have fins, but they don't have scales, so I can't eat it. Um, not to eat non-culture flying insects. Flying insects, as far as like locusts, locusts have um wings. We can we we can eat grasshoppers and stuff like that. Um, not to eat culture maggots. Not to eat worms fruit found in fruit once they have left the fruit. Not to eat creatures that live in water other than fish. So we cannot eat anything other than fish. So that's why I do not eat sea moss. Sea moss is a living organism. organism and it's I know people say that they are healthy, but sea moss is there. I do not eat nothing in the ocean that does not, that's not a fish. So sea moss is a not a fish, so I can't eat it. I don't eat that. Not to eat meat of an animal that was mortally wounded. Not to eat a lamb torn off of a living creature. Not to eat meat and milk cooked together. Not to eat certain things. So this is like our dietary laws. Not to eat diverse seeds planted in vineyards. Not to take God's name in vain. Not to deny possession of something entrusted to you. Well, shit, I can get my ring that my grandma promised me. Not to deny possession of something entrusted to you because she promised me a ring. To swear in God's name to conform the truth when deemed necessary by court. Oh, I don't have to swear in God's name. Oh, it didn't say not to. To swear in God's name to confirm the truth when deemed by court. It didn't say not to. So I can do that. Not to break oaths and vows. A Nazarite must let his hair grow. He must not cut his hair. I'm not a Nazarite. This is a this is the Nazarite vow. Okay, I'm not a Nazarite. Not to glean, not to gather the gleanings, to leave gleanings for the poor. So if we are planting something. As far as if I had a garden, um, I am I'm supposed to take, I'm supposed to leave. Like, let's say I plant like two uh, tomato bushes. We know that out of that tomato bush, I'm probably going to bear 12 out of those two bushes. I'm probably going to build 12 to 13 um, tomatoes. I'm supposed to leave some for the homeless or give some away to the homeless. That's what that means. And I said I was going to do that next time I do that. To separate the tithing for the poor. Okay. So it's just that not to spend. It's for your money on anything but food. So if our tithing offering is not a call. This is normal. Um, you know what I'm saying? Morals and values. Um, to release all loans during the seventh year. So let's say somebody owe me some money. Or I... To I, somebody owe me some money and it's been seven years. I, he don't he don't owe me no more. If I didn't get it back within the seven years, he don't owe me no more. Not to refrain from lending immediately before the release of the loans for fear of monetary loss. This is about um, checking the years. Not to reap the normal manner that which grows wild in the 15th year. Which means like if I start to gardening and I garden for, if I, like, I garden the year before last. Let's say I garden the year before last and then I skip last year and I do the garden this year. So that would be the second year of me gardening. According to my law, I'm supposed to count up to 15 years for 14 years. And the 15th year, I'm not supposed to, um, whatever that I, whatever increase that I have, I'm not supposed to gather all of it. I'm supposed to leave some of it. So it's like, it's it's a lot. Koshin is our feast days. Let me see. Oh, the sacrifices we don't do anymore because of Christ. We don't do um, any blood sacrifices no more like we did in Leviticus. What else? 
return the robbed object or its value, not to the desire of another possession. 